Hi everyone, how are you doing? I'm Anna and today I have something really exciting because there's this company, I don't know how to pronounce it exactly, but they reached out to me and they asked if I wanted to test one of their products. It's the customizer engraving pen from Kuliao. I received it in the mail, so I'm gonna switch the camera over and let's open it together. It came really well packed in the mail, so I don't expect damage. It looks a bit rusty. But the pen looks really fancy. It feels quite nice in your hand, not too heavy, a, a bit heavier than a normal pen, but uh, the feeling is nice. 30 additional diamond bits, they fell out, it's a really nice variety of diamond bits. And I believe this is for wood. The rusty one is for wood. I believe this is for changing the, the tips. They say it works on almost any surface and they brag about the fact that because it's cordless you can use it anywhere you want. So I'm gonna gather some materials, go find a pretty spot outside and let's test it out. After I packed my stuff, we headed over to a nice spot outside. Suddenly I found a coaster made of stone in the woods, and I thought, what a coincidence, I can engrave that. So I took a seat on that fallen tree in the background and prepped the engraving pen. It's a bit finicky to replace the diamond bits, but I think it will be easier if you practice it a little. I don't want to go too deep into the specs on paper of this device. I'm more interested in how it performs when you're actually working with it. I want to test how long it works when fully charged, how powerful it is, if the bits run smoothly, that sort of things. When I started to engrave the dragonfly on the stone coaster, that went very smoothly, no problem at all. It felt just as if I was drawing with a normal pen on a rough paper surface. Of course I was thinking about making something for this video I could actually finish. I'm more of an illustrator and not really a wood carver. Off camera I tried to carve a stick with the engraving pen, but my lack of skills prevented me to actually finish it. Also the wood bit that came with the pen is a bit small. I noticed that it lost some rotation speed when I was applying more pressure to the wood. They do offer additional bits for wood carving on their website. But you have to buy them separately, so don't expect huge wood carvings with this particular kit. But this pen really can be your best friend for small precision crafts and the finishing touches of a bigger piece. And I reckon it comes in handy with pyrography to bring back some highlights in burnt areas of wood. About halfway through the engraving of the dragonfly, I decided to ditch my lab table and hold the project in my hand. I sat quite comfortable on that tree actually.
I have this kind of husband that thinks about everything. After I finished the dragonfly, he brought us coffee and an upper flop for lunch. However, I learned that it's actually called an apple turnover in English. It was time to stretch our legs for a moment when I suddenly saw a light bulb in a moss. I thought, what a coincidence, I can engrave that. I really had the most beautiful view for my spot. When testing the customizer and graving pen, for me it's important if I can use bits from other brands as well, so you can buy new ones at your local hardware store as well. And because it basically comes only with diamond bits, and if you want to engrave glass, sure you can engrave glass with only diamond bits, but if you want to add some tone gradation, you want to use stones and polishing rubbers as well. I tried it and Yes, you can use other brands, as long as the shaft of the other bits have the same width. There is no adjustment to use bigger or smaller burrs in the pen. And that's a bit of a shame, but it's fine. I was able to use some of my green stones and some polishing rubbers, so I was really happy with that. Because now I can use the customizer in combination with my other rotary tool for the smallest details and to save some time with switching bits in between. I knew already it could engrave glass, but I wanted to try something different. I never saw someone engraving a light bulb before. There's probably a reason for that, but I wanted to try it anyway. I was a bit scared at first, because the glass is very thin, but it went really well. Of course, you need to be careful not to apply too much pressure, but if you do only surface engraving, you will be fine. I was looking for something I could engrave on the light bulb it was easy to freehand without a sketch underneath, and I thought little flowers were probably a good idea. And I think it turned out nice in the end. I began with a green carbide stone to roughly fill all the flowers in. Then I switched over to the diamond bit again to neaten up the edges and bring in some highlights, because diamond bits give the brightest whites on glass. After that I went over with some polishing rubbers to darken some areas a bit. This polishing rubber is fairly big, but their engraving pen handled this quite nicely. And that's good to know. And for the finishing touches, I went over it again with the diamond bit for some more detail. And that was it. Just a simple but cute design on a light bulb. I had planned on doing a third project to test a different surface, and the customizer and engraving pen still had some juice left in the batteries. But we don't. We were already busy for several hours and we started to get a bit cold and very tired, so we went home. But here are the two projects I've made today. What's my final verdict on this pen? At the moment this pen is on sale and it's listed for a bit less than $50 and I think that's definitely worth the price. I was surprised by the battery life, the precision, the ergonomics and the power of this device. It's very handy for small crafts, especially for gifts and it's a nice addition in combination with larger power tools. If you want to get one of your own, look in the description of this video, because when you use the code ANNE, you can get a 10% discount on your purchase. Let me know what you think in the comments below, if I could inspire you to make something of your own, or if you have suggestions for me to try something for my next video. Have a nice day, until next time.